boys, we are back in the day. Roster update video, boys. That's right. We're getting close. Just kidding. We're not. It's really like three weeks away. We still have the all-star break. Bit of a longer update window. But fielding update, pitching update, hitting update is going to be the biggest update of the year. Because they're going to mess around with fielding stats. I don't trust SDS to do it, but you guys can. We got about 20 names in this video. The 20 best buys as of right now. Starting things off, he's on the screen, man. George Kirby. 1,810 stubs. Not too far above Quick Sell. Now, the reason I like George Kirby is because prior to last update, he was a diamond lock, quote unquote. His price was over 3,000. And as long as he stays good, then his price is going to go up regardless of performance anyway. As long as he plays decent, a little bit above decent, regardless of if he gets the nudge to diamond, his price will go up. I like him at 1,800. Not too much risk. Now, when you start pushing 1850, push the push the brakes. Let's calm down here. Last start, six innings pitched, seven hits, eight strikeouts. I like the strikeouts. Keep the strikeout numbers up, and we'll see a boost. Right now, we have him projected with our formula to be slightly positive, not quite at diamond just yet. Francisco Lindor. I mean, looking at his price, man, he's looking more of a sell than a buy to me. Stats on the year are really solid. Uh, 250 on the year with 15 home runs. I mean, with his hitting stats, there's a lot of room for improvement. I think we do see him go diamond. But guys, we're three weeks away. I mean, the people buying these cards, I think we're going to see a pretty solid price dip in the up and coming days, uh, especially with Team Affinity drop. We're going to have a lot more live series cards being pulled from Team Affinity packs. I think we see a price drop. Stay patient. Lindor is a buy, but as of right now, I stay away. Jack Flaherty, similar story. He's projected as a diamond right now. He's obviously starting very soon. 89 innings pitched, 115 strikeouts. Really, 14 walks. I mean, this guy's been dominant. Deserves diamond. He should already be a diamond, but he's not. Uh, but he is going to potentially go diamond with a couple of good more starts. I like to see him get his in innings up. You know, stamina has been a concern for me with Jack Flaherty in real life. Obviously, they're not going to knock him for it too much. Uh, but I do want to see him get his innings up, go deeper into games, get more uh, opportunities to earn some stat increases for this update period. I like him below 2,000. Max Scherzer. This is a guy where he's at quick sell, and I'd be buying up a lot of Max Scherzer around this price, man. He's a good pitcher for the opportunity. Uh, if we, oh no, I backed out. All right, here we are. If we look at Max Scherzer projection, man, right now he's projected slightly negative down 0.1, but that can change real fast. This guy only has 16 innings pitched on the year. And he's finally kind of, you know, it's his fourth start coming back from injury. Take away the pitch count, man. This guy can go as deep into the game as he wants. Last game, he went six and a third. Uh, I think we see him push seven innings next time out if he, if he plays well. So I like Max Scherzer a lot as a buy. You know, not having too many innings on the year, he'll be able to manipulate his stats a lot easier than some of these other guys. Logan Gilbert, he's one of those other guys, man. He's been pretty good in his last couple starts. Uh, last time out, not a great start with four in runs and six hits, but his strikeout numbers have been pretty good, about one strikeout per inning. A couple of starts ago, he went eight innings pitched, and uh, right now he's projected slightly positive, plus .3 on the update period so far. Again, pretty good pitch of opportunity at 1,300 stubs, not too bad. Now, you kind of need him to go diamond, same with Scherzer, to really make some bang on your buck. So that's the only negative there, but I like him as a buy. Tyler O'Neill, honorable mention. Joe Ryan, honorable mention. Paul Skeens, probably a sell, but he could go up potentially. Uh, but the next guy up is actually going to be Lewis Gill. Now, we haven't mentioned him yet. <sighs> He's an 82 overall. You'd like to see a plus 2 to 84. His per nines are already really, really strong, except for walks and maybe strikeouts. But listen, man, he's back. The Lewis Gill that we remember finally showed up with six and two thirds inning pitched, four hits, no walks. That's right, no walks and nine strikeouts. Those are really solid numbers. I think we see Lewis Gill, maybe. I mean, Yankees fans, where are you at? Is Lewis Gill going 84 plus this update? Luis, Ro I like him as a buy. Luis Robert Jr. Luis Robert, man, 920 stubs. I still like him as a buy. Batting 300 in his last seven games. You know, he's kind of been trading his power for batting average, which is, which is fine. Because his batting average is up from 190 to 230. 230 batting average on the year with 10 home runs in 140 at bats. So, I mean, the power numbers are still pretty good in real life. Uh, I'd like to see him get his batting average to 250. And then we could see him go 84, I think. Bryce Terang. 
A lot of good brewers, it seems like. Bryce Terang is 610 stubs. I mean, 288 batting average on the year with six home runs. You'd like to see him get some homers versus lefties because he has zero. Zero home runs versus lefties. But he's got six home runs versus righties. None that are too recent. I mean, looking at his picture, is this a guy that's going to hit 25 home runs in a year? Yes, he's big. Get big and hit some nukes. Bryce Terang, I like him as a buy. Luke Weaver. Luke Weaver, I'm going to have to check his projections. If we look at his stats, though, uh, let's see. Last start. Oh, geez, start. Dude's a reliever. I'm tripping. I, I thought he was a starter because he's going two innings pitched every single performance. 51 innings pitched, 56 strikeouts on the year. Uh, I think, yeah, it looks like that. He's got not too many walks. His walks per round are really good. His hits per round are really good. Do we have him projected? Let's take a look at Luke Weaver. We do have him projected at plus 1.5 already. So this is a really, really good buy opportunity on Luke Weaver. I mean, if I wasn't already rich, I'd be buying some of him myself. Lords Gorio Jr., 270 batting average on the year with 13 home runs. Guy's been hot. He still is hot, but he also has had some cold spans. So, I mean, he's risk-free. Risk-free, maybe a fielding boost. I mean, can he earn his way up? He needs to hit some home runs. If he wants to go 83 plus, gotta get the power numbers up. I don't mind him as a buy at quick sale, risk-free. LED La Cruz, people are saying he might get a feeling boost. This guy's very streaky, hot and cold. He was super hot, batting 306. He's batting 306 his last 15 games. And he's batting 150 in his last seven. So I mean, I don't know. Is he cooling off? Is he is he the iceberg that sunk the Titanic? I don't know, but his stats were up. His stats were up. Learn how to hit lefties, please. LED La Cruz. 239 batting average versus lefties in real life. Uh, he's have four home runs. I'd like to see, I'd like to see, I, give him a boost. Please, at least a slight contact boost maybe versus lefties. I like him as a buy. Brandon Doyle, people are saying Royce Lewis 2.0. He's 900 stubs. He's priced as a plus one. As of right now, man, dude has four home runs in his last seven games. And with those power numbers, he's doing a nice boost. He's going 83 plus in my opinion. Brian Hudson. People are saying Brian Hudson is cooked. Looking at his last couple starts, it is the worst last couple starts I've ever seen in my entire life. But on the season still, look at the season numbers, guys. Season numbers still aren't bad. Three weeks is a long time. I think Brian Hudson can save himself. And as a buy, I still don't mind in your quick sell. Francisco Alvarez, got to hit for power. 127 at-bats on the year, four home runs. Those four home runs are a while ago, I'm telling you that. 299 batting average on the season, though. High batting average? That makes me want to buy him, especially an 81 overall at Quick Sell. I like Alvarez as a buy. Uh, who's up next? Kirby Yates. 450 is approaching the ceiling because I don't like buying relievers, but 30 innings pitch, 13 hits. I mean, that's really good. 14 walks and 42 strikeouts. Last couple of, last couple of performances, he's been really good in terms of striking everyone out. So I like Kirby Yates as a buy. Zach Gallon is a pitcher flip. Wouldn't pay around, you know, 440 or less is where I'd probably be staying uh, as a pitcher opportunity. His first start back from injury was really good. Last start, not too good. You know, what Zach Gallon do we get his next performance? Now we have Cole, the future, Reagans. You can see I have 1,400 of them myself, because why not? The rich keep getting richer. Last time out, seven innings pitched, eight strikeouts, three walks. Eh. I mean, do you get excited when he walks three guys but strikes out eight? It's a lot of pitchers that seem to be doing that right about now. Now, if we look at Cole Reagan's projection, only slightly positive, man. Plus 0.2 right now. But, I mean, the talent. I think the talent is there. Wouldn't be overpaying. Nah, I'd still like him as a buy. I think I paid around 440 for each of them. Justin Steele. Similar story. I like Justin Steele as a buy. Uh, if we look at his projection, I mean, right now he's at 470 stubs. That's a, I mean, I think we're going to see a price dip, guys. If I was you, I'd be patient. But Justin Steele is projected as a plus one right now. Last start, man. Nine innings pitched, two hits, two walks, seven strikeouts. That'll get you projected to go up in overall. So I like him as a five. Michael King is an honorable mention as well. Uh, 79 overall. Nice opportunity to pitcher flip him right here uh, with another good start. Gets, gets the strikeout numbers up. Gets the walks down. I think we see him go up. Carlos Correa going below 400 stubs is the name to watch. Ryan Pepio is a name to watch. And really, I think that's all I wanted to mention in this video. 
that's roster updating investing best investments right now we can have another tier list i'll react to some of your inventories tons of content coming peace out thanks for watching boys